Newport Public Library. Welcome to Kids in the Kitchen. If you remember, there's a few things we need to do before we get started. First, you need to wash your hands. Make sure your work surfaces are clean. And if you have long hair, will you pull it back? Well, now that we're coming upon the Christmas season, I thought we might make some Christmas cookies. I'm going to show you a few different cookies that you can use the same sugar dough, basic sugar cookie dough, to make different kinds of cookies by adding different ingredients. So you can either start with a cookie mix, a sugar cookie mix, or you can make your own sugar cookie recipe. I'm going to make a mix and I also made a regular cookie dough that I always make every year. So let's get started. So we're gonna mix up our sugar cookie mix and then just take some butter and one egg. Dump it in. You could take one stick of butter, so we'll put that in. And it takes one egg. it up. Okay, our cookie mix is all mixed up. It's all combined. And you can use this cookie, this kind of a cookie mix for roll cookies or drop cookies. And the first ones we're going to make are a peppermint kiss cookie. So we're going to take balls of cookie dough. And I like to use um, a scoop, a cookie scoop. And we're going to roll them in some sugar. So we're going to put some red and some green. We're going to mix them together just like that in a dish. Now I'm using sanding sugar. There's also other ones out there that are not sanding sugar. They're just finer. I'll just put a little of that in. It's more like a table sugar. Sanding sugar is a little bit coarser, so we're going to take a scoop of cookie dough. Now, when I make regular cookie dough, I always refrigerate it, but this is just a package mix. I'm making a ball, I'm dropping it in, rolling it around, just like this, putting it on the cookie sheet. Making balls, roll it around, put it in the sprinkles. I'm going to put it on the cookie sheet and I'm going to make an indentation and press it down a little bit, but I'm not going to put a kiss in till after it's been in the oven for a little while. We'll probably bake these about 10 to 12 minutes and then like at the last minute we'll stick our kisses in and put them back in the oven so they adhere and then we'll pull them out. Okay, I'm going to continue to press down on my cookies, so I'll have a place for the little kiss to set. And I'm just going to use the bottom of a little bottle that I have, but you can use whatever you want, whatever you find you could use, it doesn't matter, you're just pressing it down. You could also use your thumb if you wanted to, whatever's easier for you. Done. I'm going to put these in for, oh, I would say around seven to ten minutes. So check them after seven minutes and see what you think. Because they're a sugar cookie, they might bake up a little bit quicker. And if not, just leave them in for another couple minutes. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, I ended up baking these cookies for 11 minutes. So now I'm going to put our peppermint kisses on them. And then I'm going to put them in the oven for one more minute to adhere, so the kisses adhere to the cookie. And then I'll put them on a cooling rack. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, just to recap. So I put these in the oven for a total of 12 minutes. 11 minutes to bake and one extra minute after I put the kisses on. So now I'm going to move them to a cooling rack so they can cool. Remove my cookie tray and we're going to go on to our next cookie. 
Our next cookie is a, a white chocolate cranberry cookie. So I'm going to take some more of this cookie dough. And again, you can make your own or you can use a package mix, whatever works for you. I am just making a few of all of these so you can see what they're like. But I might make more if I were making for cookie plates. So to this white cookie dough, we're going to add a few white chocolate chips a few cranberries, and a few walnuts. Now you could use macadamia nuts, you could use raisins instead of cranberries, whatever works for you. We're just gonna mix them together. Now our dough is all mixed up. I have the white chocolate chips, the cranberries, and the nuts mixed in. Now we're gonna use our cookie scoop again. And I use the same cookie sheet and our cookie scoop and I'll just put them on and because the last batch took about 12 minutes I'll probably will put these in for 12 minutes too just like this now this same dough if you add a little flour to your table can be made into cuddle cookies just use like three tablespoons of flour, roll it out with a rolling pin. We're going to do that with some other cookie dough in a little bit. And you can make ghetto cookies. Totally different looking cookie, same dough. I've decided before I put this in the oven, and I think I'm going to flatten them a little bit with a glass. Because they're kind of thick, and I want a little bit flatter cookie. You could dip it in sugar if you want, or flour, whatever you want. If you want it to have a, a shiny top to it, you could use some sugar. Don't these look good? There we go. All right, now I'm gonna put them in the oven for 12 minutes. All right, our white cra chocolate cranberry cookies are baked. So I'm gonna move them to a cooling rack. See if I can move this over a little bit so you can see. They look really nice. They smell really, really good. Okay, let me move the cookie sheet out of the way so it can cool. Okay, now we're ready to make our next cookie, and it's a take on a snickerdoodle. So in here, I have a mixture of a quarter cup of white table sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon. So I've mixed them up, and again, we're using our cookie dough, our sugar cookie dough. Put it into a ball, drop it into the sugar, Mix it around in there, knock it, knock it around, put it on your cookie sheet. When you're using a cookie scoop, you'll always get the same size cookies. That's why I like it. Now, all these cookies are being baked in a 350 degree oven. So after I move them around in the cinnamon and sugar and put them on the baking sheet, I think I'm going to use a glass again, or maybe I'll just use my fingers and press them down a little bit before I bake them. So I'll finish putting them on the baking sheet, and then I'll put them in the oven, and then I'll see you back here. Again, I'll probably bake these uh, 10 to 12 minutes. Our snickerdoodles are ready. They're baked. I'm going to take them off and put them on the cooling rack. The last cookie we're going to make are reindeer cookies. I use this plastic mat for rolling things. Now I made my own cookie dough. And when I do my cookie dough, 
after I make the sugar cookie dough, I make little packets and I put them in the refrigerator or I keep them in the freezer till I need them. The reason being, if the dough stays cold, it's easier to handle. So, I'm going to put a little bit of flour down. You can also do this with a cookie mix. You can put it in the refrigerator overnight. Mine's pretty hard. Or you can put it in the freezer and take it out and thaw it when you need it. Like I said, mine's pretty hard because I had it in the freezer and then I moved it to the refrigerator. You can always leave it out for, you know, 10, 15 minutes to get to room temperature. But you want it to be cold because if it's cold, it rolls out much better. This is the same cookie dough I, that we make in our family every year. And I'm sure some of your families have a cookie dough they make every year too. some heart cookies that we're going to make into reindeer. See how nice they come out if you just, if the dough is nice and cold, you have no problems. I'm going to gather it all up and try to add as little flour to your dough as possible. Because if you add too much flour, then it becomes tough. And it makes it more difficult to roll out. So I'll add, I don't know, a teaspoon or so. Just a little. And it helps too if you just put a little little flour on your rolling pin. Now my rolling pin has a cover. It's like a fabric cover because it makes the dough not stick. I filled our cookie sheet with our hard cookies so now I'm going to bake them. These I'm only going to bake, I would start looking at five, six minutes. Our hard cookies are baked so I'm going to move into a cooling rack. And then we'll make them into reindeer. Now we're ready to turn our heart cookies into reindeer cookies. So we're going to take a heart cookie. We're going to put a little frosting up here. A little frosting here. We're going to add two pretzels. These are going to be the antlers. We're going to give them two eyes. We're going to use chocolate chips for that. And then we're going to give them a Rudolph nose, which is a little red hot. And now you have a reindeer cookie moving around. I'm gonna, I would let him dry for a while so that the pieces all stay together, which is what I'll do, and then I'll put them on the plate, and I'll see you back in, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes. Our cookies are finished for today. You should have a beautiful plate of cookies. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. See you next time with Kids in the Kitchen. Bye-bye.